Hey guys, it's Chai Fun Lunch Boxable. Are you also addicted to bubble tea or boba tea and there's no shop near you? Well, you can make it at home. The advantage of making it at home is that you know what you put in your drinks. We will be making bubble tea from fresh ingredients. So does that make it healthier? Maybe. I bought my pearls on Amazon for 10 euros and which is kind of cheap considering how much bubble tea costs here in Germany. So with that, we just need one cup of boba pearls and some brown sugar. And to start making these perfect chewy pearls, we will boil three cups of water for every one cup of boba pearls. Once the water is boiling, we will add one cup of pearls and stir. Then cover and let it boil for a bit and stir occasionally to avoid the pearls from sticking together. So once it starts boiling for about 5 minutes, lower the heat to medium and cook for 30 minutes and stir occasionally. After 30 minutes, turn off the heat completely and cover the pearls for another 30 minutes and stir for the last time. So checking after 30 minutes, ta-da! We have a perfect chewy boba pearls. So after this procedure, you just have to leave it on the side, let it cool completely. So after 30 minutes, rinse the pearls with cold water to remove excess starch and prevent the pearls from sticking together. So just like that, very easy. So look at these perfect chewy pearls. So they are, they're cooked through and through in the middle. There's no white portion anymore. And look at that, still sticky though but we want it to stay like that. So after this, I will be adding one half cup of brown sugar as the sweetener, and also sugar prevents them from sticking together. If you think you need a little bit of water, just go ahead and put tablespoon or two tablespoons of water in order for you to mix the boba and the sugar properly so there you go so for our first boba drink we are making the classic olong milk tea first i started brewing my tea so i put one half teaspoon of olong tea in a tea bag you can also use any black tea you like or any tea for that matter I choose this Olong tea because it's stronger in taste, especially if you mixed it with milk. So for one half teaspoon of tea, I added 350 ml of hot water. So let's set this aside and let it brew. So in addition for your tea, you also need a sweetener. I choose honey and some milk. Assembling the drink is the fun part. At the boba shops, they usually use a shaker for this, but this will also do. The taste is similar to the one at the shops. So there you go. I also added some milk foam on top just because. This handy frother is a lifesaver. I got this from Amazon for 5 euros. Very affordable.
So there you go, guys, our first boba milk tea. So you see how easy it is? So for our second drink, I made iced coffee boba drink. Here we need some milk, any milk actually, your pick, double espresso, and our milk frother. Very easy. You can also use some sugar if you prefer to have some really sweet drinks. But for me, the sugar in the boba is enough sweetness. So just like that, we assemble our drink. First the boba pearls, then some the espresso and the milk and of course some ice cubes. And let's make this milk foamy. So there you go, guys. You have a perfectly yummy iced coffee boba drink at home. Very easy, actually. With just three ingredients, right? So for our next drink, my ultimate favorite, we need matcha powder. If you can find 100% matcha powder, it would be better. Of course, milk of your choice and honey to sweeten it. And for this, I use the smoothie blender to dissolve the powder completely. So to start off, we need some milk and we need our matcha. I put one half teaspoon of matcha. So actually, a lot of stores here in Germany is selling matcha powder already. So it's not very difficult to find. Then I put some honey and just blend it. So now let's do the fun stuff. So we we'll assemble our drink of course the boba pearls at the bottom and then just swirl them up so you create this marble effect but you see it didn't stay <laughs> and then just pour your matcha mixture and look at those foamy foamy matcha this is so good guys and also this is so much better on summer days and very cold drink i really love this one and it's very easy i don't have to go to any store to buy my matcha bubble tea i can make it at home So for our next one, I made peanut butter and strawberry boba drink. So this is kind of, so this is very unique, the taste. As you can see, you need strawberries, peanut butter, milk, splash of vanilla, and honey. And then we will all mix it together.
So now let's just assemble it again. So boba at the bottom and just do this move again and just put your shake. And now you have peanut butter and strawberry boba drink. Isn't it amazing you can make it at home? I hope you like the video guys and salamat for watching. See ya!